Hi everyone. We are in my closet today. With all this time that I have been home this past year, I've gained a lot of weight, meaning a lot of these beautiful colors and skirts and shirts and dresses um, haven't gotten to get worn. So the reason that I wanted to do this whole video and the reason you're seeing my really anemic closet is because I want to be able to find a pattern or make a pattern that fits me well, that fits my full bust, and that requires very little overhead, like no pattern adjustments whatsoever. I just wanna be able to make it quickly and have it look good for work. So I think I found a pattern. We're gonna go ahead and check it out here in a second, but um, fingers crossed that it actually fits me like it's supposed to. We'll find out together. All right, everyone. The pattern I decided to make was this charm pattern by Gertie, the scented dress. So I, I've been eyeballing this pattern and similar patterns specifically because they're supposed to be easy, they're supposed to be straightforward. Uh, this particular one is up to size 22. It does include cuff size options, so we'll see how that works out. Um, I've never made a pop-up dress before, so this will be very, very interesting to see whether or not like I have to make no adjustments. Like, So I'm, I'm just, worried about how that's going to be but i'll talk about that in a second um the fabric that i'm using is a poplin that i actually ordered from mood fabrics um i talked about poplin fabric in my spring fabrics video so definitely check that out but i love this one because it's bright and it's beautiful and i'm hoping it's going to look popping on my zoom calls at work but anyway back to the pattern uh this particular pattern here has uh like a worse waist shirey and um you know it's it's made for a certain height so we'll see how it goes but um i pulled up my ipad here so we can kind of talk about the specific design details that i'm like paying attention to um so you can see in this image that it this is all the different options that you can have on this particular design it has like specific collar options it has you know different sleeves you know different things that you can add to it but as i said earlier in this video I just want to make it simple and easy. I want to make be able to make this quick. So the option out of all of these that I'm doing is actually going to be this very simple dress with shiring, very uh, open-ended. But anyway, it does have a tiny little button hole here, like a, almost like a keyhole blouse on the top. And then rather than just being like the trapeze version, it has like all the elastic on the waist. So multiple layers of elastic to really tie everything in. You know, I've looked at the pattern pieces themselves. There's actually like a dart here on both sides. So that'll definitely help shape things. And I'm hoping that the waist elastic really pulls everything in. Um, my concern in this is gonna be the distance from like, let me change the mark here. Uh, it's gonna be the distance here. So I don't know how much this distance is going to be and whether it's gonna be too much for my petite frame. Um, I also am concerned about um, just the general length as well. Um, I don't know how long it's going to be on my frame. So I told myself in doing this project, I did not want to do any adjustments. So I'm going to literally make this design straight out of the package. Uh, so let's see how it actually turns out. I just struggled with this a little bit. Okay, anyway, um, I have uh, I have my uh, pattern front pieces uh, traced out and cut. As you can see, this dress is gonna be, it's gonna be a lot of fabric. Um, I have not actually held this up to my body standing up, so I don't know how long this is gonna be on me. I'm leaving it to be a surprise, but I'm sure you'll see a cut of that here in a second. Um, anyway, so I traced out the pattern pieces. I cut out all my pieces. I also see that for the double D size, there is a uh, dart that is added to like start to cup the dress around my form. The dart itself is extremely gradual, so I'm very concerned as to how that's actually gonna turn out. But fingers crossed, everything turns out well. Um, the shell itself is pretty straightforward. You know, uh, shoulders, side seams, and then there's some fiddling with the facing, which I'm sure you'll see here in a second. Uh, but let's uh, let's see how this works out.
All right, so we have the shell mostly constructed or at least up until the point where the facing comes in. Um, a couple things I noted about oh, the instructions. Uh, if you're making this yourself, uh, like the same version that I am making, uh, please make sure to stay stitch your neckline. It, the instructions doesn't mention it, but this is actually really important so you don't like pull the neckline out of alignment. Um, the other thing that the instructions kind of skip over is adding in the little loop. Um, I think it, the instructions send you to a different page so you would have completely missed out on adding the little neck loop. The only other note that I had was just the darts were so gradual, like it was such a, a small dart. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, I did kind of let the, um, the stitch line go uh, about an inch and a half or so from what I presume was like the dart point. So um, there was no dart point on the dart. So I just kind of added out about an inch and a half. So um, hopefully that'll taper very nicely once I actually get the facing on or once I um, complete the shell of the dress. Uh, but yeah, next things up is the facing. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. All right, we are at turning it inside out stage. You can see, look at how freaking huge this dress is. Okay, um, but uh, we're gonna turn this bad boy inside out. So I'm going to stick my hands in from the back of the facing, grab the, the front and then turn them inside out. You can see me sticking my hand in here, grabbing a little bit, but <laughs> Jose's cracking up at me over there. Please go ahead and hit the subscribe button hit the like button. It's the only other way people will see this from around the world. But here we go. <laughs> um, hopefully I didn't rip anything. Okay, <laughs> we're gonna do the other side now. Um, if I can find it, I think, yeah, here we go. All right. Okay. We have the shell taking shape. We got our fronts there, another front over here. We got our, wait, hold, what happened to the little flippy? Okay, we got our little loop for our button over here. But yeah, it's starting to look like a thing. I think at this point we just have to sew the side seam, sew the front seam and put in the elastic and it's basically done. I'm excited. <laughs> done. I can see the light at the end of the tunnel even though I'm sure this dress looks like a giant potato sack on the camera. So we're gonna add some shape to this. It's gonna pull everything in so you can kind of see here just by me gathering it like the shape for the bust starts to fill in and then obviously the bottom of the skirt will flare out. The panel is supposed to be about four, four and a half inches in the middle. Con that could come out of this is that because it is supposed to be like four and a half inches, my torso length is extremely small. Not the waist, but the, the length is, is pretty small. So uh, I'm not sure how that's going to be fit against my bust and like my waist. So um, we're not doing any edits. We'll see what happens, but 
yeah, I'm looking forward to a, like a nice elastic waist when I'm sitting for work for like eight hours. <laughs> Tough. Oh, you're such a tough kitty. <laughs> like, se pasa. Se pasa. So, what happened? So, I knew I was taking a risk. What the hell is going on? By not doing a muslin first, which is what I tell everybody who sews. I just didn't realize how much it would backfire. You ready to see this? Show me what's so wrong about Oh this. god, there's so much wrong with it. Okay, so um so I'll back it up. So I was trying on the dress so that I could figure out how much I could hem it, and I'm like, alright, well it's probably gonna be fine, let's do this. I put it on and like Obviously, it's made for somebody who is not petite in the least. Like, the elastic waistband, which is supposed to be at the waist, is, is super inches below. Then, we have all this extra here. Look at this. It's a tent. It's a straight tent around me. So, yeah. I have a short torso. This is a problem. Um... It literally looks, I look like a muffin. I, I literally look like a muffin on top. <laughs> uh, so what it, like, how do you think you're going to fix it? If, can you even fix it? Uh, I gotta get myself in the grumpy mood. That is, is how I feel about this dress. The whole point of taking on this dress was just to see, could I make something quick, easy, no fitting, just get to it. For work I just wanted to be uh, it to be comfortable I wanted to to look good and we'll see what happens and my experiment I can already tell has not worked out but why <laughs> what I talk about a lot in my videos is like yo do a muslin before you start making it in your beautiful fabric and I've just proved my point if you've watched any of my fitting videos and there's a ton of them uh, I talk about some of the adjustments that I have to make, which is usually shortening the torso because I'm generally pretty petite. So uh, on this particular dress, the top is fine, the bodice, it's or like the bust area itself is fine, which is what I was mostly concerned about. Uh, I'm not worried about that. It's everything below the bust point. Absolutely everything below the bust point to the waist is just a mess um, on on me because I'm short. So um, there's about an there's about three and a half inches that it's too long by. It literally looks like I'm wearing a potato sack above the waist. What I think I'm going to do, and I thought about it, and I'm just like, this is the most hacky, weird way to do it. I do not, warning signs, warning signs, do not do this at home. I don't recommend it because this is not good sewing. This is like, I'm just gonna adjust it and just fingers crossed. So I'm basically gonna fold this gigantic four inch uh, panel, this like elastic panel in half to, you know, I think this is what, two and a half inches maybe, just to try and like reduce that, that size. And then, you know, stitch across the bottom so that it's one piece. Then what I'm gonna do is essentially cut off the whole top of the dress off. <sighs> just thinking about, just thinking about it's giving me anxiety, but. Um, I'm gonna take off the top piece, uh, cut off a good inch and a half to two inches from this, and then reattach it back on to the top of this waistband. And hopefully that will make it wearable for me because as it is right now, this dress does not work for me. So fingers crossed that this works. I really wanna be able to wear it to work tomorrow. That was the whole, like the whole plan was to wear it to work. 
And right now, this is like, it looks like a gigantic potato sack. Um, so we'll see what happens. <laughs> All right, everyone, the fix is done. I am, oh, fingers crossed, fingers crossed that it turns out okay. Uh, right now I'm just double checking like how much it has actually like stretched out in the hem since I've had it hanging here. But um, yeah, the fix is done. So it's a little hacky, it's a little weird. I don't know how it's gonna look because I actually haven't tried it on yet. Uh, but you're about to see how it turned out. Are we ready? Are we rolling? Yeah, come up. Was I able to make a dress straight out of the package with no adjustments and have it look good? No. <laughs> and to be honest, a lot of people won't be able to. Uh, I face a lot of challenges with this because I have petite measurements in a lot of ways. Even though I'm bigger, a lot of the fundamental pieces of the pattern would not work with me. Um, I can even see just even the way that I'm sitting right now, like the shoulders aren't fitting right. So while the dress, I've managed to make it look good doing some crazy post-process adjustments, it did not work for me. Uh, I don't recommend that you do that sort of thing and just rely on the pattern just being great straight out of the package. I do have quite a few videos that I've done specifically around fitting and how I approach fitting. Uh, they'll be popping up here on the side so you can take a look. I highly recommend checking them out because no pattern will fit anybody perfectly straight off the bat and you want to make sure to not cut corners and make it work for you the right way the first time. Uh, but with all that said, I hope you liked the video. Like, share, subscribe, all the places, all the stuff, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!